Have you ever watched someone using a microphone and everything seems to go wrong? Don't be that person. In this short video, I'm going to give you five essential tips on using a microphone. Hi, it's Timothy Hyde here from Expert MC, the channel dedicated to helping you become a better MC, and if you like, to grow an MC business. Hey, unless you're working with the tiniest of audiences, you're going to have to learn how to use a microphone. So here are five tips to make you look like an expert. Tip number five, do not ever, ever tap on a microphone or blow into it to see if it's turned on. Microphones have a fairly sensitive diaphragm inside that collects up the sound and then converts it into electrical signals in different ways. Now, most mics like this one are fairly robust. They'll stand up to some pretty rough treatment. But as they get more expensive and more sensitive, the diaphragm inside can be damaged if you blow into it or you go tap, tap, tap. So don't ever do it. An alternative is to snap your fingers just in front, or you can even run your fingernail lightly across the top, which will tell you if it's on or not. Okay, tip number four, and this is a big one, always do a sound check. Never assume it's all set up and ready to go. And even if it is all set up and ready to go, there's an advantage here of doing a sound check. It's quite hard for a sound person to set up the sound the sound correctly doing it themselves. They might be standing at the back of the room or in the corner and adjusting the, the mics and the sound levels. But if you're there on the stage at the lectern, at the microphone, they can adjust the sound for your voice rather than their voice. So walk around the stage, check if there's any points of feedback or dead spots. And if you have to leave the stage into the audience, check that as well. Feedback is caused by the microphone being too close to a loudspeaker. So make sure you know where those loudspeakers are. Also check you can get the mic in and out of a microphone stand and also how to adjust the height of the microphone stand. And lastly, you should always know how to turn on and off the microphone. Sometimes it's obvious, sometimes it's a little bit more complicated. There's a funny thing when you hand a microphone to somebody else to speak into, they often assume it's off and they will look at the button and turn it the other way. And sometimes in reality, they turn it off and then they wonder why it's not working. If you can spot that and quickly turn it back on again, it will really speed things up. Tip number three, distance from the microphone. It's another big mistake that people make. The microphone is either far too close or it's too far away. Now, if it's too close, you start getting noises, mouth noises and gurglings and burps and swallows and things like that, or that popping noise that some people make. And if it's too far away, the sound guy's gonna have to turn up the volume to, to hear what you're saying. And this increases the extraneous noise around and also increases the danger of feedback. So if you've got time for a sound check, always ask what's the best distance from this particular mic. And if you don't have that, here's the tip that I always use, throw a Hawaiian shaka. Yep, the hang loose symbol. And that distance from there to there, from your chin to the microphone, is a pretty safe bet to be a good distance to use. So hang loose and you'll be all right. Now another thing, as the MC, if your speaker, the guest speaker or the VIP, is talking far too close or too far away from the microphone, signal to them to get a bit closer or a bit further away. Your speaker will appreciate that, so will your audience, and so will the sound person. Hey, here's a bonus tip. If you tend to wave your arms around quite a lot, it's quite hard for the sound guy to keep a constant level for you. So once you've found a good position for the microphone, lock that elbow against your side, and this will keep the microphone there in front of your face even if you turn around like that. And you'll see quite a few stand-up comedians use this very technique. Now, before I tell you tip number two, we do have a full article on the website all about microphones, the different types, the pros and cons of each, lecterns and headsets and lapel mics, etc. I'll put a link to that in the description below, or you can click the banner that will appear above. 
Tip number two, don't hold the microphone in a death grip, like you're hauling in a large rope or something. Uh, for one thing, with cheaper microphones, it creates extraneous noise, your, your hand around the barrel of the microphone. And also, don't do that wrapper thing where they covering up half of the capsule. Unless, of course, you are a rapper and you know what you're doing. So hold the microphone a little bit more delicately, the ends of your fingers like that. It's a much better look, it creates a better sound, and it allows you to do a couple of things that I'll share with you in tip number one. But before I share those, if you've got any value out of this video, would you please help us out by clicking the like button? It really encourages us to make more. And why don't you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future episodes. Okay, tip number one. I really think that a handheld radio microphone is the very best choice for an MC. Far better than a lapel mic, a headset mic, or even the lectern microphone. I always ask for one, and if they don't have one or they don't have a good one, I just pop back down to my car and bring back my own one. Now, here are some of the reasons, and it's not just the fact that you can move around the stage. These give you a far superior sound. You can shout, you can whisper, you can add emotion to your voice, and you can add surprise, and the sound can be boosted a lot higher. So if you're working in a noisy, big, challenging room, you've got more control with one of these. And you can interview people. Try doing that with your lapel mic. And you can point at things because it amplifies the shape of your body. You can also encourage better reactions, louder reactions from the audience, applause, etc., just by pointing the microphone at them. And lastly, it's a wand of power. It's like a tribal talking stick. If you, they see you holding the microphone, they know that you're the one in control and that you should be listened to. It really helps you do a better job as an MC. And that's what this channel is all about. Hey, why don't you check out that article on the website or stick around because there's another video coming up right now.